Welcome to Numanba Valley. We are about 40, 45 minutes outside of the Gold Coast in this beautiful valley. And I'm going to use this as a base here to visit the Gold Coast and my son. There are two paddocks that you can camp on and they're both lined along the creek. And you can see we're parked up there. And of course, the other camper that just arrived has just parked right next to us. I don't know why, could have chosen anywhere to park. But it's absolutely beautiful. The cows are up there in the fields and there's birds flying overhead. And I just look forward to exploring along the river and the stream. You're allowed to have fires here. It's an independent campsite. And I just found it in the camp book and rang up and booked. It's not part of hip camp or anything like that. And really for $15 per person per night, if you don't mind the drive in and out to the attractions and the Gold Coast and stuff, it's really the cheapest accommodation around. I'm really looking forward to visiting, seeing a bit of the Gold Coast and relaxing here in this valley. What did the buffalo say to his son when he went to college? What? Bison. <laughs> well, you wouldn't believe our luck. We're in the Gold Coast and it's come across raining even though it wasn't predicted. But Kieran had the solution for us. We've come to... Oda, home of the arts. And it's a fantastic art gallery. But not only that, if you go to, you start at the fifth floor, they tell you to go up to the top and then work your way down. The fifth floor has the most amazing views of the Gold Coast. So what are we looking at? Uh, SeaWorld's up that way. You can see where those white tents are right there. Oh yeah. That's where SeaWorld is. Um, that island, that Chevron Island there. It's like a residential island. And we've got surfers there. Going all the way down to that really tall building. Um, those big two buildings don't weirdly shape. They're called the Jewel Residences. Um, I think you've just got the canals here. And some of the artwork is just fantastic. But boy, it really is cold. And can't wait, I'm gonna come back on the 25th because I wanna see the sneaker exhibit. Really worth coming to, totally free, and it was good, wasn't it? I had a good time. Yeah. I had to babysit you two in the uh, <laughs> kids' room while you drew in templates of books. Really worth coming to, especially if it's a rainy day, especially if you have children, or you wanna see a free, amazing, view of the Gold Coast. Just along the road where the campsite is, is a dam and there's different places where you can put boats in, but they're worth coming down and checking out. This western boat ramp part has a little picnic area over there, heaps of parking and a beautiful little walk and we saw some wildlife, mm. didn't we? Yeah, we saw some really nice wildlife. And a lot of birds. And it's just pretty, a lot of dead trees which make it picturesque. Mm. Not sure how good it is for the environment. Yeah. And a huge nest. Oh wow, I didn't even see that. Soft nest.
love to bring the kayak down here and if you're looking for firewood in the area so much here I'm not sure if it's National Park but yes a beautiful little spot glad we turned off If you camp here and you see some old relics, it's from the Spartan race that um, Kieran's done. They had to run through the creek that we've been playing in and then they had to run up here. This was all mud, get through there and then climb over that with using ropes and back down. It took him just under two hours to do it and he trained pretty hard for it. And I had no idea when I was booking it that this was the home of the Spartan race. Shoes? Yeah. <laughs> it's a funny so thing, sometimes it sucks when you lose your shoes. Oh, people have lost their shoes <laughs> still in there. After lunch we jumped back in the car and we've come to the Natural Bridge Arch. It's in the Springbrook National Park and it's like being in a rainforest. It's absolutely amazing and we're going to have a little walk. It's a one-way walk and we're going to follow it around and see what we see. This is pretty cool. Good morning. Well, it's been a busy time in the Gold Coast and I don't feel like I've really spent enough time in the valley. Now we're going to pack up very slowly today, start making our way back to Canberra because the patient has a few appointments with his foot at the end of the week. Otherwise, I'd be staying here an extra day because we arrived and it rained. Then the Saturday we went to the Gold Coast and we stayed the night there with my son and then last yesterday we come back just after lunch and that's the only time we've had here but we got to see the natural arch and we got to see the point out over the dam and that was lovely and I don't know what else is here but I think you could just come and just sit and if it was hot enough sit in the little creek with a glass of something and just let the water rush over you would be beautiful. Good morning. We made it to Kempsey yesterday afternoon about 3, 3.30. I just had enough and couldn't keep driving on the highway. But we came to Kempsey Showground. You had to ring before you arrive. They only have powered sides. But look, there's number four powered side up there. And our, our number five electricity box is on the other side of the van. It's just a huge site. And it's been nice and quiet. A bit of road traffic on the other side of this fence. They lock the gates at 6.30 in the evening and reopen them at 6.30 in the morning. But they do give you a code. So if you want to get in later than that, you can use the code. We decided not to unhook, we've got plenty of food 
in the van. So on the map it looks like you're in the middle of town and I suppose you are to a certain extent um, because there's houses everywhere which also means that there's a road everywhere but you're not in the middle of the shopping centre. As we head on down the highway, the boring highway, and head towards home and more medical appointments, I shall see you on the other side. Well, sadly, we didn't get to look around Armadale. Absolutely poured during the night. The swag actually flooded and got so wet that we're still trying to dry it out. And I don't know what we did wrong. We've seasoned it, we followed the instructions, and it's just absolutely soaked. And this is like two days after. Yeah. 